using 10 to subtract 9. This is lesson 2.7. Back in lesson 1.11, we learned that we can use 10 to add 9. We can also use 10 to subtract 9. We can use a 10 frame and counters to help us subtract 9. You fill out however many the menu end is. Remember the first number is the menu end, so we have 13. So we fill our 10 frame and add 3 more to have 13. And then we cross off 9 of them. We can see there's 1 left in the 10 frame and 3 on the outside. That's 4. So 13 minus 9 is 4. We cross out 9 and count how many are left over. If we use counters, we take away 9 counters. We would just take those 9 away, see? And there'd be 4 left. So we can do that. We can use a 10 frame and 10 to help us subtract 9. We have 14 for our menu n, so we have 14 orange dots. The 10 frame is full with 4 on the outside. That's 14. We cross off 9, or if you're using counters like pennies or chips or something, you just remove those 9, and we have 5 left over. So 14 minus 9 equals 5. Now we have 15 for our menu end. The 10 frame is full, and we have 5 on the outside. We remove or cross out 9 of them, and we can see that there's 6 left over. 1 here and the 5 on the outside. Just remember that we can also count back to subtract. We learned about that. 7 minus 2, we count back to 7, and then we go 6, 5. So 7 minus 2 is 5. And also remember that we can use doubles to help us subtract. 6 plus 6 is 12, so 12 was the sum, it becomes our menu end, 12 minus 6 equals 6. And we can see our doubles in the addition sentence and in our subtraction sentence. So you can make yourself a 10 frame. If you haven't already, just get a piece of cardboard and you draw one line horizontally going sideways in the middle and then four lines are going up and down and that'll make 10 boxes. You can use coins or little rocks or little gems or anything you want, even little Legos or something, so that you can use them as counters and you can do a 10 frame. And try subtracting using 10. I'll see you next video. Bye.